real satisfying way to come down the stretch, I think, for for this team and how we're made up with a lot of young guys to, to experience some success coming down to win six games in a row and, and play the way we did. Uh, you know, I thought uh, you know this stretch down at the end of the year, even even with a couple of the losses that we had, um, was the best stretch that. That we played as a team together, and uh, you know, with Nene being able to come back at the end, I think that was really huge um, for the future of these guys uh, and moving forward. And, and you know, I, I just got you know done telling them, you know, that's it was a trying trying year. Um, anytime you go through a situation where a coach is, is dismissed, have some trades. We've I think four guys. Come in on ten-day contracts, injuries, shuffling of people in and out. Um, you never know how that type of season is going to transpire. But I, I thought these guys, um, once the trade, when the trades were made, we added some ten-day contracts. We started playing together. Um, was they came together as well as I could expect, and uh, you know, for them to come down. You know, when you're not really playing, playing for anything um, other than tomorrow, the future, um, to play with this kind of intensity and effort all the way through was, you know, I was proud of. Them. Randy, you said before the game that you know you can't worry about your personal, your personal situation. But coming off a, a stretch like this, if it turns out that you're not the coach, I'll coach board, somewhere. Could, but are you? Can you walk away? Can you walk away with this oh, feeling proud? Listen, of, listen. You know, if you're in the business as long as I've been in the business, you hey, you learn to to do like that. That's what I've, I've told you guys here for the last couple of weeks. You know, I, and I don't. I mean, I'm not. It's just not coach speak. Um, all I all I wanted to do was try to do the best of putting these guys in a position that their talents uh, I could try to get the most out of put them in positions to succeed, and I tried to do that in preparing them for every game, and I think they showed that. I mean, that's all, that's all I wanted to do, you know, without, you know, being here, you know, in this condensed season, no practice, and, um, you know, I just wanted to try to make sure that we, we kept that boat afloat, and these guys did it, and so I don't worry about what tomorrow holds. I, I, I just want to try to, I told you, this was a good, you know, in the, in the end, I'm going to learn a lot of different things from this team and from this experience that's going to help me down the road in my coaching. Um, and, you know, whether that's here or not, I, I don't worry about that. I, you know, I, I, I truly don't. I just, I, I try to go out each day, do the best job I can. And I think um, when you work hard and do that, good things happen. What does this group need? Well, we got to add some talent. We got to continue to add players to this this group. There's no question. You know, I don't know where our final tallies were, but you know, we're one of the worst three-point shooting teams in the league. Um, you know, outside shooting, playmaking uh, on the wings. You know, those type of things. I mean, we got to continue to try to, I think, add pieces to this team now. And and we did that through the trade. I, I think. And I think it's been evident. Um, I mean, we we. We're night and day defensively um, from when the trade went down to, to the day. I mean, the, the point differential and what we were giving up to what we gave up in the 20, how many games, whatever, 24 games, 23 games since the trade is, you know, not even funny. So, I mean, we added, now we got to continue to do that. How gratifying is it to see the growth and maturation of John Wall in terms of his composure and poise? Well, he did. I, I mentioned uh, before the game, you know, sometimes people just watch down wall play and they don't really understand what a point guard really has to do out there. And he took huge steps. And, and, and nobody really ever understands when you get a player, whether it's the first pick in the draft or, or whoever it is as a point guard, if he ever is going to understand um, and pick up being the quarterback out there on the floor to where the coach doesn't have to direct everything and call every play and that he has a feel for 
who's hot, who's not, what play to get that guy in a position to score. And John made leaps and bounds with that this year. And I, I'm not just talking about his scoring or his assist or his skills. That's huge. That's huge in being a top caliber point guard. And um, it makes my job easier. It makes the other players' jobs easier. And it makes his job easier um, to where he's not looking at me all the time and I'm not yelling at him all the time. And that's, that's a major step. And you never know. You never know. I mean, you can interview a guy, you can sit down with a guy, and you can talk to him all the time. You never know if he's going to pick that up when the game's going 100 miles an hour. And um, last year, it was it was a, a challenge for him. Last year was a challenge um, for him to do that. But this year, boy, it, it, he just took it to another level. Randy, can you talk about how you and your staff was able to, after Flip was fired, to come together and have a plan well, to get it executed at least down the stretch here? I, I, I told those guys, you know, I, I, they, they did a hell of a job, you know, for, you know, you know, when you're, you're dealing with, you know, Ryan Saunders and you're dealing with that, um, you know, Z was with him a long time, Sam played for him. Um, there was, um, you know, a lot of loyalty that, that was there when, when Flip was let go. And um, these guys, I tell you what, they jumped on. And they helped me so much. Um, I'm so appreciative of them and, and what they did. They didn't miss a beat, and they they dove in even harder and said, "We're you know, let's try to make this you know turn out the best that it can." And they did that, um, and, and I'm very appreciative of that. Has the team given you any sort of indication of a timeline as to no. when they might make a decision on coaching? No. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.